I believe you've ever come across something like this. This usually happens to many Samsung phones. At times when you put a charger when it is on, it says temperature too high, uh, temperature too low, uh, phone too hot, and does not charge. So today, I've got this Samsung S8. It's, it is broken, but it's, I think we can use it for demonstration. I want to demonstrate to you guys the reason why this thing happens and how you can actually fix it. Let's start it. Now, what you have to know first is this thing usually happens because from S6 to all to onwards, most of Samsung phones have what they call wireless charging. And the charging circuit of all Samsung phones has always to connect with the wireless part. So if the phone does not connect to to the wireless part, it will always make this error. Okay? So in case you have a broken Wi-Fi pad, you have a faulty Wi-Fi pad, it will always make this error. Then another error where it usually makes it is when the charging port has got liquid or it has, has frost, let me call it rust. Yeah. If you have a baby or you have ever walked in water and somehow water droplets drop into this port, it will actually show you such an error. Okay. So we are going to open it. Then I can demonstrate to you how the charging part is connected and how you can actually fix it. Okay. First, I need to first take off this shield. I have here my, my blower. Let me first hit on the angles of this one. Because actually this is where the glue is. This one is kind of weak because I have taken it off multiple times so it will not give me hard time but what you should be what you should actually consider so much or oh, very vigilant is when you're removing this cover because actually that's where most of those of those errors come from let me show you now this one is easier because I've, we have been working on it for several times but i'm going to show you some guys when they are moving these this behind covers eh, they usually use sh sharp stuff like tweezers uh, sharp object that they usually pierce to remove off this cover and actually this is where they make the mistake if you bring your any object that you are using to remove this cover and it actually touches here because this is the wireless pad this is the wireless pad actually yes this one and these coils you see here this is the coil that actually generates the current that goes into the circuit of the charging system then the phone sends it to the battery so when you're removing this cover be very vigilant not to put your anything you are using so so deep inside the phone because if you take it deep you're going to break this and when you break it that is the cause of that error in your phone. Your phone won't actually charge. It will continue showing that error, error, and it will really be bad for you. So I've done this. Some of you might wonder, mine is not broken, but it still does the same error. Let me show you. Let me first move this screws. This is a, a Samsung 8, S8. I think it's a Japanese Japanese quality because all the default languages, the apps are in I think it's Japanese. So yeah, the model will actually be a kind of different from many of the Samsung S8 phones. But the mechanism is the same. The mechanism is the same, the charging system is the same. So in case you have such issues, you can always fix it by the same method. So here I wanted to show you that 
I actually did this on purpose. You see, these I, I put these insulators here where the the charging pad connects. And actually, if this charging system cannot connect to the charging pad, that's the reason it will make that error. Okay. So let me remove these pads and put back this charging pad, and then you probe it into the charger, and then I will. I'll sh you will see how it behaves. I'll first put one screw in just to make it hold and to make it firm. Then I'll bring my changer. Let me show you. You see, it is now charging very, very fine. There's no doing errors, does not show any temperature signs. And now, if you leave it here for some few minutes, it will actually charge up to when it is full. So guys, be very cautious about this pad. And in case you're a technician and you get your device like this, this actually works on all Samsung phones that have Wi-Fi pads. Yes. Even if these terminals are broken or they don't connect, so you can always probe that issue using the same the same method. Okay? Yeah. I think I'll end a video here. And uh, if you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up. If you have any question, you can comment. And if you would like to know more videos of this nature, you can subscribe. Okay. I'll fix this back later. Thank you. Bye.